Thousands of model trains, welcome to another video in our Digital for Beginners series. In today's video, I would like to show you how to make digital turnouts out of our analog switched turnouts and to explain what you need to carry out the conversion so that you can then switch them using the multi-mouse or later with the Z21. Up to now, we had the accessories transformer and the analog control panel. These can be used to switch turnouts to the right or left, straight ahead or branching off. To be able to switch turnouts digitally with our digital control center, you need a turnout decoder. I'll show you how to connect this now. There are two ways to digitalize the ROCO line with bed. If you don't have any drives yet, you could use digital turnout drives. Here, the drive and decoder are installed in a single housing. Should you already have analog drives such as this one, then it is possible to digitalize via the external decoder. First of all, I'll show you how to install the digital drive and then the analog drive. Take the turnout out of the track. The analog drive is currently installed here. We have to remove this. Lever the drive out of the bed and then remove it. The digital drive has two rail connectors. These are for power supply and also for the DCC signal. To install the drive or to connect the rail connectors to the turnout, remove the original connectors. You can do this by using a screwdriver, but watch out, because if you slip, you can easily jab the screwdriver into your finger, which can be very unpleasant. It's better to take a small pair of pointed pliers to grip and pull off the rail connectors. To install, you take the turnout, turn it, and clip the turnout drive into the frame base before connecting the two rail connectors to the rail profiles. In this way, they are simply pushed onto the rail profile. Now the digital drive is installed. As you can see, there's still a green cable left. This is the programming cable. It has to be clipped once to the profile in order to program the drive to an address. And then you can assign an address to the drive via the digital control center. You should also check whether the drive adjusting tongue is cleanly connected to the turnout. To do this, switch the adjusting lever back and forth. As you can see, the drive now fits cleanly and the turnouts work properly. Now we take the turnout and reinstall it into the track. To program the turnout drive, we have to change the mode in the multi-mouse. Use the key from L for locomotive to W for turnout. If the drive now has to be programmed, you just take the address 5, key in 5, and then switch the drive once. Now the drive is programmed to address 5. If you remove the cable, you can switch the turnout via this address. Even if the digital drive is installed, it is still possible to switch the turnout manually if you wish to do so. On the second turnout, I want to show you the process of using our analog drive. To do this, we have to take the turnout out of the track. Here too, the drive has to be clipped back into the bed. To do this, take the drive and clip it into the bottom of the bed. As I already said before, switch the turnout using the manual adjusting lever so that the tongue of the drive connects cleanly with the turnout. We have attached a connector for the analog control panel X-Works, but as you can see here, the turnout decoder is fitted with a screw terminal. Now we have two options. The first is to take the port 10602, the matching cable 10623, and then the screw terminal in order to connect the whole thing. Or we can of course cut off the connector and connect the cable directly before connecting the drive to the decoder. 
whether you connect the drive directly or via the connecting plate and the flat cable is immaterial as far as the technical design is concerned. To be able to switch the points with the decoder, then the decoder requires the DCC signal from the digital control center and also, of course, a power connection. For this purpose, a four-pole terminal is included with a decoder. You can then connect a separate power supply and then only take my DCC signal from the track. Or you can install two small cable bridges so that you can also use the power supply from the digital control center if you don't want to connect a separate power supply. If you have only one or two decoders for a small railway system, you can supply the whole system with power via the tracks. However, for large systems with a lot of consumers, it is advisable to connect a separate power supply. Now we can switch to address 1 because the decoder is programmed XWorks to the addresses 1 to 8, and now you can switch the points using address 1. The method of digitalizing the Roco line analog drives with BED can of course also be used elsewhere. It also works for the Roco line without BED. Here the plug is cut off again in a similar way or an adapter is used. And of course there is also the Fleischmann track without BED or the Fleischmann Profi track. For this last one, you can procure the three cables individually. However, the Roco Geoline track is a special case. I'll show you that one now. This track has an underfloor decoder. It is plugged directly into the drive and then fastened into the bed using a small screw. And already, this turnout drive is digitalized. That's all for this video on digitalizing turnouts. Thanks for tuning in and see you next time.